performant background lies in a 4,500 hour multinational development program designed to meet the requirements of the civil, utility and maritime roles. Performant is the true multi-role aircraft for operation in the 21st century. This large and agile medium lift, long range aircraft is just entering its production phase and offers Canada an ideal aircraft for Labrador replacement. In order to evaluate the Cormorant, Canadian assessment teams have visited the production facilities in the United Kingdom and Italy, with the flight crews gaining first-hand experience on several different models. The cabin is larger than the Labrador and has crew access through the port air stair door. The large sliding door on the starboard side permits winching from both primary and auxiliary positions without repositioning the winch operator. The rear ramp allows easy loading of stretcher cases or the rapid emplaning of personnel in secondary roles such as troop transport. Vehicles can be loaded, making the rear ramp a standard requirement with all our search and rescue customers. Quick reaction is always demanded in search and rescue. To meet these requirements, the aircraft has normal cruise speeds of 150 knots with a dash speed of 167 knots. For rapid response from the cockpit alert state, the auxiliary power unit, or APU, would be running, which enables the electronic instrument system to be functioning, along with electrical and hydraulic systems. The environmental conditioning system can also be functioning at this stage. The aircraft has been ergonomically designed for ease of use and can be safely operated by just one pilot. With a high degree of automation and equipment self-test, the aircraft has demonstrated takeoffs in well under two minutes from a position of crew readiness. Once airborne, the crew can reconfigure the cabin for their expected rescue requirements, which can vary from 28 survivors seated to a mixture of up to 16 stretcher cases and seated survivors. To extend the range of the Cormorant, the helicopter can be fitted with an internal auxiliary fuel tank and operated at an overload weight where necessary. A great benefit of operating the Cormorant is its inherent design requirement to operate off small ships in adverse weather conditions. With the ability to land on the back of one of the many compatible NATO ships, the Cormorant can take on fuel. This significantly extends its operational range and its search time. The Cormorant is equally compatible with any oil rig with a helipad large enough to take an S61 or a Sea King. The airframe characteristics allow the Cormorant to meet both search and rescue roles and maritime roles without compromise. To operate in the most demanding weather conditions, Cormorant had to be designed as an agile aircraft. A large helicopter with small helicopter handling qualities enable the pilots to position the aircraft accurately whatever the weather. In the extreme weather off the east coast of Canada, aircraft response will be enhanced with the best anti-icing capability. Cormorant is equipped with the latest electrically heated main and tail rotor blades along with heating for other vital systems. Cormorant has already operated in the Canadian winter during part of its early development trials. This, together with over 20 years of research flying, has produced a system that is capable of meeting the most extreme design requirement. During flight, the pilots can allow the multi-redundant autopilot to fly the aircraft whilst they monitor navigation, radar, and aircraft systems. The electronic instrument system allows them to check through systems as well as alerting them in the event of a system malfunction. With low crew workload, low vibration, and good environmental control systems, the crew will arrive at the search station without the usual fatigue. When the survivors are sighted, the aircraft can be automatically flown to the hover alongside the survivors. Control of the helicopter for winching can be made either by the pilot or by the winch operator, depending upon the circumstances. 
Treatment can be given to the survivors in the large cabin whilst the aircraft is flown to the nearest facility. This could be to the nearest ship if the survivors are in need of urgent medical treatment. Returning to land base, there is frequently poor weather. By using the latest Category 2 instrument landing system and specific low visibility approach techniques, the Cormant will be able to land safely in virtually all conditions. To demonstrate the capability of the Cormant, the company is currently undergoing specific trials to show dispatch reliability, all weather operations and ease of maintenance. Cormant is designed to meet the demands of flight and ground crew. The easy access and large opening panels of the Cormant enable the maintenance to be done with the minimum of equipment and personnel. The internal electrical access and built-in test equipment make the diagnosis and unit change something that can be done in minutes, not hours. All of these features lead to an aircraft that only require 4.2 maintenance man-hours per flying hour. Cormand has many outstanding features. These include an all-weather capability, rear ramp, large cabin, long range, and high speed. It all adds up to Cormand being the ideal search and rescue helicopter for Canada. Thank you.